Hello, beautiful people. How are you today? I'm going to talk to you about some more government secrets that they don't want public. So I've never really talked about um, this before, and I realized it when I was practicing, you know, speaking, because I do that a lot, um, today. So this is the actual first video that I'm going to do on the government's night force. That's right, their night force. I know you've never heard of night force. If you're a junglist, old school raver, no, it is not the guys that did the hit song, Jungle Song, by the group known as Smarties, who started Night Force after they uh, made all the money from that jungle track from sampling Sesame Street. That's not the Night Force I'm talking about. What's up, guys? You rock. Miss your records. Anyway, I'm talking about the Night Force assassins that are the government's elite assassins from all over the world basically like the uh, equivalent to that James Bond, the new James Bond society with the octopus who created um, the intel agency to police all intel agencies, Nazis. So their head assassin team is called Night Force. Now, Night Force consists of all demon casters. That's all. Night Force consists of what they call a um, specific kind of casting. Now, what I want you to understand is the specific kind of casting. I mean, witches. They all have their different roles and they all have their, um, I don't know, specifications, specialized, whatever you want to call it, casting demons. So I want you to understand what I'm about to talk about, and I'm not talking about specifically just per se a black goo program part, because they are part of that black goo program part or nanity or nanomite that gets in your system when you sleep through your air condition from per se your neighbor across the street throwing nanomites or smart dust in the air that are programmed to go directly to your air condition and in your house. Um, I'm talking about chemtrails that they spray at night or during the day that has nanomites and black goo in them. It's preparation for night force. It all is preparation for night force. Now, I want you to understand um, one major fact. Witches cast at night in between the hours of 1130 and 12 is their prime time. Because it is in between 11.30 and 12, they do this. They do preparations, they do gatherings, and then they do the celebration of death of the day, birth of the new day, the rebirth. So they do their sacrificial rituals in between these times of 11.30 and 12. Because that is the end of the changing of the old day and birth of the new day. So here's some scientific facts for you witches that you need to know all your rituals that you've been practicing, like religiously, monthly, and sacrificing women and kids um, in, in rituals is highly inaccurate. Because you are so obsessed with um, daytime and nighttime. One of the things you need to understand is if you're really going to do your rituals, properly and according to real universal time daylight savings time is not that fact so the fact is all your numerical sequences and all your stuff like that you have based on vortex math and daytime and nighttime and daylight savings time is highly highly inaccurate when you cast spells, when you call in demons, when you do things like this, you're messing with the universe. Now see, these stupid witches, especially in Night Force, are time travelers. And I'm going to explain to you exactly how they do it, what they do it for, and how they maintain their satanic order and why it's so important for the witches to celebrate death of the day birth of the new day, a rebirth because they're giving thanks that they haven't gotten caught 
they're still alive. That, th that they can sacrifice another child or woman and not get caught, like Aleister Crowley. So these are facts. If you don't know them, whether you like it or not, I'm just pointing them out and telling you how things really work. Night Force. If you don't know about the government's special lights that they have, if you don't know why they started issuing these completely toxic lights that they say is cheaper for you to have in your home, well, is it really cheaper to have in your home? No, it's not. They coincide, they work with Tempest, Echelon, and the smart meter system that is all about killing you, soft killing you, and making you look like you're dying of natural death. Fact. These light bulbs that they sell, you know, the, the twisty ones with the spirals, they're the most toxic things on the market. Fact. There is nothing that you can buy over the counter that they say is safe. Oh, if you break it, you have to call hazmat. You're an idiot if you buy these bulbs. If you don't know this, these bulbs are designed to kill you. Point blank. If you haven't studied halogen light bulbs, well, let me tell you another thing about the lights outside your house that light your streets up. That's where this, these lighting, this form of special lighting was implemented because these lights omit a dead zone light. Yeah, I know you haven't heard of it. It's something sadistic the government thought of to cast demons through lights. So when you see like the so-called eye of the Illuminati in the background, the light, the enlightened ones, the Illuminati, the guys that, oh, I'm going to uh, enlighten you. The guys that swear I'm going to put my hand over the light and keep the secrets of the light. What lights? Lights you got outside? The lights you told everybody that they were safe to put in your house and if you break them, you got to call hazmat? Those lights, Illuminati? Now I want you to understand the purpose of these lights. Demon casting. That's all. Now, if you don't know how Echelon works, let me explain to you how Echelon works. Echelon has been around since 1954, fact. Um, synthetic telepathy, voice to skull V2K was patented in 1974 and used as a psychological weapon in Vietnam, fact. So I want you to understand Night Force and why they use these lights and, and the whole synthetic telepathy and the whole demon casting network and how they do it. Echelon is based on electric, electrolysis, electromagnetism, spying. How do you do this? Well, you implement a system that knows what electronic ping is. What's an electronic ping? Well, you know a submarine has a ping, and that ping will hit something and then send back a vibration of what it is. Echelon is the same, but it does it with electricity. Electronic digital pulse. And then they put this pulse array into your home through all your electric sockets. From your electric sockets into your TV, your computer, anything you have hooked up, they try to hack. And then they hack these devices that they've changed, computers, cell phones, to coincide with this demon technology. And then they hack into your computer, cell phones, and see everything that you're doing. And then with Wi-Fi, with this pulse sent into Wi-Fi, it amplifies your microwave and sends a huge magnetic pulse into your home, which can be used as a weapon. This is why microwaves are banned in Russia. Because Russian intelligence that fights Echelon 
and the whole intelligence war is about this, the upper echelon Nazis. So I want you to understand why microwaves are banned in Russia, because actually they take all the nutrition out of your food. You can eat paper, and paper has more nutrition than the food that comes out of a microwave. Fact. So not only that, when you leave a microwave plugged up in your home, Echelon, Tempest, NSA, NASA Satellite, Satan, Facebook, DARPA, all through your smart meter, have codes where they access, go through the plug, where your, per se, um, microwave is hooked up, and then find where you are and send a directed microwave pulse magnified pulse at you and per se you're on Facebook or you're in front of your computer on Facebook or you're on your cell phone on Facebook then Facebook coincides with that pulse and then starts digitally attacking you through DARPA that's what Facebook is designed for Mark Zuckerberg and his wife are two of the heads of Night Force assassins fact now I'm going to tell you about Facebook one of the night force collaborations with China and, and, and Zuckerberg, the Nazi. That's right. He's CIA. Zuckerberg isn't even his real name. Bloomberg. All the Bergs, you know? All of a sudden, what? They're Jewish? No, they're Nazis. Hiding amongst Hebrews because they're Khazarian, satanic Nazis. So where else? What's the best place to hide? for Nazis than up under the Hebrew people. So I want you to understand Zuckerberg and why he has a Chinese wife. Here's some facts about Night Force. Zuckerberg, if you use Facebook, they take a CAT scan of your brain. Facebook coincides with the synthetic telepathy has its own encoding for you. You are encoded if you have Facebook. Then Facebook is a soft kill assassin technology, gang stalking technology, uh, social media technology that is used to cover up murders. How? Well, if you don't know, human trafficking, point blank, take girl, okay? Do one of two things. Launder money from her family by using the girl or using the girl's per se Facebook or Twitter account and giving it to somebody else and maintaining it's actually her but it's not her she's being trafficked all over the world or she's dead Facebook serves this purpose so people think a person is still alive and it's really not them have you ever really met them or saw them Facebook also has a synthetic algorithm artificial AI called belly dancer so for all you intel people and activists and hacktivists, belly dancer. That's Facebook's artificial intelligence. Let me tell you why it's called belly dancer. What's in the belly, Zuckerberg? Huh? Subcon. Subconscious. Your subconscious programming. If you're not aware of your subconscious and taking control of your subconscious, they're programming your subconscious through subcon. So it's a demon that Facebook is notorious for using, casting, and using its, its algorithms. Subcon is basically simply a chi blocker. It plugs your chi. And then from there, it piggybacks off your chi and starts piggybacking as your subconscious voice and starts doing all this fucked up shit to your brain. And then when Night Force comes along, the demon casters, you're all lit up from Facebook from the last time you used Facebook. And then it makes it easier for the demon casters like Zuckerberg and his wife. Now let me tell you about the Chinese and Zuckerberg Facebook connection and let me tell you how satanic it is. 9-11 was a human sacrifice ritual point blank done by the Illuminati 
Satanists, KKK, NSA, whatever you want to call them, so they could form Homeland Security, to form another Nazi organization that they say they're hunting terrorists when the terrorists actually started Homeland Security off a terrorist act. And then that act led to atrocities that you can't believe, human trafficking, wars, so many deaths, um, people going into in, in, internment camps, Nazi concentration camps, based off a, a, a sacrificial ritual called 9-11 that the American government, with the collaboration of other satanic orders like the Vatican and the Blue Lodge of the UK, which orchestrated this, which all of them answered to the Blue Lodge of the UK, Rothschilds and Windsors. Evelyn Rothschild is the Queen of England's financial advisor. These two organizations themselves run and own the Federal Reserve, which is run and owned also by the IRS, which the IRS enforces a work on tax British law that doesn't exist. British Nazi Queen. They're terrorists, straight up. So if you haven't seen American fascism, show me the law. It doesn't exist. Now, back to the Chinese collaboration with Facebook and why Zuckerberg has a Chinese fucking wife that's Chinese intelligence. Yeah, her fucking cover's blown. Fuck you. And if she's from Beijing, yeah, Beijing, you got trouble. So let me tell you what the Chinese did. After 9-11, there was a whole bunch of scraps and metal with all that blood and human sacrifice ritual stuff from 9-11. So what are we going to do with all this rubble that could prove that we actually, you know, imploded the buildings? Huh. Here comes China. They bought all the remains to 9-11, the metal. All the metal was taken to China, melted down, and then they they melted it down and formed the ring of hope with all that blood and metal they formed a ring of hope really China that is night forces back door what do I mean back door well when France can't get their stargate online for the Rothschilds that's located under the Bastille in the keep of the French's Bastille when they can't get that online or when they can't get Dolce online or when they can't get where their other stargates online they got the back door the ring of hope so you telling me Beijing China doesn't know about this we don't know about Beijing China that's where Chinese intelligence is night forces back door the Nazis back door to to what the human sacrifice rituals and all that stuff demon casting they must have something very very strong that has a lot of blood on it what what could have more blood than a than a metal gate made from the sacrificial ritual known as 9/11 which has a cause and effect and the effect is there's still people being killed off that big terrorist act and lie performed by Satanist known as 9-11. So this is Zuckerberg and his Chinese wife. This is the Nazi and Chinese collaboration. Why do they have Nazi and Chinese collaboration? I'm going to tell you why. Hey, old man, fuck you. If you don't know about the Chinese old man, well, oh, you don't know about finances and the richest man in China. So let me tell you something about the Chinese that, you know, they don't even want to admit to. Which which the white man came into China and said, hey, you got to have a problem. Check this out. These black people are figuring out that about the pre-Ming dynasty. Uh-oh. They're figuring out that the Chinese are descendants from Africa. And Africans. 
And the Chinese technically, truthfully, have no right to be racist to black people whatsoever. Their arts, Kung Fu and all that stuff came from African people. Now this fact would terrify people. Because they would quit equating martial arts and all that stuff to Chinese and the Chinese are the founders of this. And then they'd start looking further into African culture. And see where things really came from. And boom, there you go. Nazi, Chinese, collaboration, racist, submissive, mind control, satanic, satanist. So this is to Facebook. You know the guys at, at the Facebook that stalk people, that uh, that make sure uh, people's accounts that they kill for the CIA and um, people that they help cover up the deaths for the CIA and human trafficking rings. All those Facebook guys that work at Fuckbook. You're screwed from what I'm about to say. Facebook had a little problem, you know, with uh, people saying black lives matter. Then, then the white people said all lives matter. And then Facebook crossed out black lives matter and wrote all lives matter. You're wrong. You're dead wrong. Witches lives don't matter. Satanists lives don't matter. KKK, NSA, pedophile, rapist lives don't matter. Why? Huh. Here's a simple fact based on karma. In the past time of history, on Earth, what race has made the greatest contributions to Earth? The African race. Egypt, numbers, words, music, elevation of music, music that inspires, Led Zeppelin, there would be no Led Zeppelin if there was no blues and reggae for them to steal from, there would be no techno if there wasn't an Juan Atkins and Derek May for Depeche Mode to steal from. There would be no swastika because there would be no Chinese culture for the Nazis to steal from. So on the grand scheme of things, on karma, based on karma, here's another mathematical fact. Black lives, brown lives, aboriginal lives. What would life be without them? What would life be without inspiration? What would life be without great creativity? What would life be? It would be nothing. Nothing. So when you think, you know, per se, black lives don't matter, look at history. Here's another fact, Timbuktu. The Nuwabians taught the Greeks how to read and write. <laughs> and Timbuktu. And then they started studying the Nuwabians philosophy and wrote their Greek gods, which are false. So then you have these witches giving homage to Zeus and all of these fake gods that never existed. The only reason they have power is because they had a bunch of lying hypocrites that said, yeah, we have white gods in Olympus. They watch over us. Let's sacrifice kids to them. These made up things. <laughs> so on the scale of things, slavery, Human sacrifice, human trafficking. You wanna know who does that? Aryans. You know who's always done that? Aryans. 
Now, whether it be the first Muslims, which were the first Aryans, which were the first enslavers, which were the first actual human traffickers, because the first slaves were actually white. The word slave in origin is Slavic. The word kidnap comes from the Slavs kidnapping. Arabs, Muslims, they weren't black, brown skin. They were Aryans. So then when you get into the first slave traders and blah, 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 yeah, it was the Aryans. Point blank. So then when you get into do Black Lives Matter, well, it was the Arabs that were selling um, black slaves. Before that, they were selling white slaves. They were the Aryans. So I want you to understand the history of Aryans and the history of racism and the history of profiting off slaves. Here's some more facts. KFC. A white racist KKK colonel didn't create that chicken. He stole it from black people, the ingredients. Aunt Jemima, pancakes. Uh, white slave masters didn't create that. They stole it from their slaves. Uh, Facebook and synthetic telepathy. Um, Mark Zuckerberg didn't create Facebook. He stole it from black writers, code writers. Fact. Do you see a pattern developing here? Do you see the purpose of synthetic telepathy? And why they're trying to make algorithms of everybody's brains to see how they think so they can, you know, oh, we don't need niggas anymore. We got their brain imprints. We got their algorithms. We have suggested programmable thinking. We got it all. Nazi synthetic telepathy. So, Night Force uses all of these programs, maps, synthetic telepathy, all this stuff to cast demons in you at night. If you are a heavily targeted individual like me, you have what they call ghost houses in your neighborhood, probably three to six around you. I do. I have, I have six. Six CIA and cartel homes with families that are full blown. They're all witches. And they all work for the CIA, NSA, and they're protected by it. And I know where their houses are. The only reason I haven't put pictures of all their license plates up is because uh, I don't know. I, uh, I know they're listening. I want to just fucking leave. That or there's going to be a bloodbath across the street from my house. You know? And then everybody's going to, what, the NSACI is going to come? And then what? Did you listen to my video? Can't say I did it. I publicized their stuff. <laughs> you know? I got the Mexican cartel right across the street. And then living behind him is another group of Mexican CIAs. And they all are in construction. and all have nothing but white vans and white trucks. And then four houses down the street from where he lives, there is uh, U.S. Navy, CIA, military, black ops with black cars, black jeeps, you know, the whole outfit. So those are CIA ghost houses up the street from, from where I am. So that's night force. Those are the close range demon casters, making sure the encryption is good, making sure that night force that came through per se the Chinese uh, ring of hope everything's good you know everything's encoded encrypted so nobody figures out what I'm telling you so night force there you are now let's let's have a night force roll call Anybody want to know about their demons and demon casting and encryption and the names of their instators, programmers? That's what they actually actually call instators, programmers, stitches. Now, a stitch is a fixer. Let me tell you what a stitch is. It's a spider demon. 
that uses plasma black goo inside of you to wrap around your organs, your spine, your bones, to wrap what is called like a plasma around your heart, around your arms, around your shoulders to form an emotional response system, to form a um, command center which is located in between your um, heart and your lung in the center of your body. So then after that, they, they uh, use what they call a dispenser system. Now a dispenser demon is a director. Now, there are several directors. Yeah, the director of the CIA does this. Now, the director of the CIA, per se, if he has you as his victim, you're going to have two directors. Now, what, are, what do I mean by directors? Directors are actually what a, a per se, what they call a pilot, a shifu, a captain of the room of casting. The person that agrees to all the witches casting and spells and hits enter and whatever. A director. Now the director of the dispenser system has a black goo communication part that's in you. Or a microchip. Now the system, the dispenser system, is formed on your shoulders. Now if you want to know where the two... Director sit in the dispenser system. It's the right and left shoulder on your shoulders at the farthest bump of your arm between your or actually where your arm bends down on your shoulders. That's where the director sit. Another good name for him is demon on your shoulder. Demons whispering on your shoulders. It's called the dispenser system, the diamond dispenser system. Why diamonds? Because if you don't know about the Illuminati Satanic Diamond Program, this is what I'm describing to you. A diamond is something that the Satanists consider a leap or an advance in whatever. Advance in science, advance in thought, and advance in sex. That's what they hold the highest. We got to copy that and program it so I can send it to Mark Zuckerberg so he can experience it with his Chinese wife while having sex. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. Not kidding. That's how their shit works. And then the director has another director sitting in the back part of the your shoulder blade. Those are called psychic drillers, directors. Then they're hooked up to what is called subcon, which is where your chi is plugged up. And then subcon runs a little goo connection to your, guess what? Your adrenaline, your spine, starts ciphering off all that power and then starts the adrenaline belting system, which is how they start ciphering off your energy power you wake up, you're you're just you're fatigued, you can't breathe. Night force attacked you. So this is their system of the no touch CIA torture system. You can go online and or order the book. Type in no touch torture system. Project Soul Catcher. That's what it's called. If you um encoders and computer people really think I'm not telling the truth why don't you take time to read the book Project Soul Catcher then listen to my video again and you'll be like whoa so this is the part of Project Soul Catcher that he didn't describe he described the digital mechanics making of this system because he was one of the programmers in Project Soul Catcher which is based 
up the diamond dispensing system. This is all psychological, synthetic telepathy based on black goo programming. Black matter programming that was instated by the U.S. government and they wrote codes so black goo could interface with electricity and echelon. So I hope I informed some people, made some people aware of some things. For the racist, KKK, piece of shit, Nazi motherfuckers out there, your time's up, limited. You might want to start thinking about karma and how many good lives your ignorant bastard ass has stomped out <clears throat> because you were jealous, because you couldn't be like Mike, because you couldn't put two and two together and figure out it was four, not eight. Because you're just stupid and inbred and you couldn't um, figure out uh, I, I should just pick up a book and learn rather than getting hooked up to uh, a speed learning synthetic telepathy program that's all based from digital, mental, physical, spiritual theft. So I hope you get a full picture Zuckerberg, Nazi and all you people that think he's so good, trust me he's not, he's getting what's coming to him Facebook and your staff after listening to me, do you think white lives matter? well, I can tell you what white lives matter I have some white friends, I love them, they're great people those are the only lives that matter to me as of all the others mm, your life matters based on what you do, what your ancestors did, and if you're doing things to correct that bullshit because your ancestors stomped out so many good lives. Fact. Because they were racist Muslims, or because they wanted them in a harem Muslims, or they wanted to just marry a little child at 10 years old. Muslims child sex marriages. ISIS, Nazi CIA. Huh? All Aryan organizations, satanic establishments, hiding behind each other going, no, it's them. No, it's them. No, it's them. When it's just a group of psychopathic serial killers that set up intel agencies to hide the fact of what they do. I'm going to leave you with this mathematical scenario. Aleister Crowley killed over 100 kids in sacrificial rituals in one year. Zuckerberg, all his Satanists, DARPA, all their Satanists, NSACA, all their Satanists worship Aleister Crowley. Scientology all worships Aleister Crowley. All the major cults in the world worship Aleister Crowley and his followers and his teachings. Fact. Aleister Crowley sacrificed over 100 kids in one year. That's one person. Masonic lodges. I don't know what. 200 people sometimes? A witch's coven has to consist of 3 to 33 people. Either or. And all of these people worship Aleister Crowley's teachings. How? What do these teachings consist of? Yugutian child sex, child sacrifice, evil magic. Point blank. So then when you take this scenario mathematically and add it up and then apply the chaos theory to it, which is each generation outdoes its own in everything. So how many kids have these Nazi satanic occultists and all the people that get down with them and want power based off child sacrifice and rape? How many kids have they killed monthly on full moon rituals since the days of Aleister Crowley and studying his teachings? Now, you, I want you to think about this and think about whose lives 
really matter on the universal grand scale of things. And whether you're black, white, Asian, Chinese, Indian, it doesn't matter. If you don't know what's happening, well, the rapture. And the rapture is based on karma. huh? And unfortunately, um, black lives, in my opinion, really, really, really do matter. Because if they didn't, they wouldn't be trying to kill us so much. There wouldn't be so many black men locked up in the state of Texas than all of the states combined in the United States. I wouldn't be a statistical anomaly in Texas. Here's some more facts. Black men, statistically, in Texas don't reach the age of 24, statistically speaking. If you live beyond the age of 24 and reach 26, you are a statistic anomaly in the state of Texas because, let me tell you why. There are no all black towns in the, in the United States. There's not one. But there are all KKK towns still today. Vider, Texas is an hour away from where I'm recording this. NASA, the guys who put Satan, the satellite, satellite antenna tracking array network. NASA put Satan online after the Satanist of the OTO cult, Jack Parsons, one of their most appraised Satanists, which was part of the KKK worship Aleister Crowley and started the OTO cult which is based here in Houston which is nothing but necromongers and child killers serial killers that's what Aleister Crowley was anybody that has anything by him you're a serial killer if you're researching him and studying him and you're full blown Satanist and if you got Satanist shit and Aleister Crowley shit on your computer, you know what's coming for you. So I want you to understand Biter, Texas. <laughs> black people have not gone around and just killed black people or killed white people just because of the color of their skin. Didn't rape them to keep them in line. But they got a KKK town named Vider giving homage to this shit. Giving homage to Albert Pike. Giving homage to the Reich. And no, if you're black, you can't stay there. If you're black and you stop in Vider, they will stop doing everything they're doing and stare at you till you leave. And the US government still allows them to operate? That says a lot about the U.S. government, doesn't it? And then 9-11 happens and what? They, they start looking for terrorists, but Biter's okay, right? Yeah, it's perfectly okay because they got the Bush Ranch right next door. I didn't do this. They want me dead because I see clearly. They want me dead because I'm trying to wake up everybody and say, hey, uh, you're subject to your ancestors' karma whether you like it or not. <laughs> Judgment is going down whether you like it or not. There are good people out there trying to rebalance the karma whether they know it or not. And thank you. But they want you dead too. <laughs> we all know that. They want me dead. Because what? Because of what I'm saying. I didn't do it. My people didn't do it. My ancestors didn't do it. I, I want to meet a nice girl and have a kid. And I want all these people that rape kids and kill women just to be gone. So I can sleep and not worry about my kid or other kids. And other people's kids. And other good women. 
And I'm I, I'm supposed to be dead because I think like this? And I'm a problem because I log on Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg's synthetic telepathy, which he infected the, the programs of the original code writers of Facebook to actually start killing black people and minorities and to protect Satanists? Zuckerberg and his Beijing Chinese wife. So on that note, have a good night, Night Force. Good luck. You've attacked me every night since your existence. And then before I was born, you were killing my people. Because of the color of my skin? Because you're jealous? Of, of what, like Prince? Because he was basically, what, another Hendrix? And kept evolution of music carried on? And then he had enough nerve to speak about Hillary Clinton's satanic chemtrails coming from Little Rock, Arkansas, which she controls the base, which poisons everybody with black goo and nanities. So that's why Prince is dead. Just another black life snuffed out like Michael Jackson, right, KKK? It means nothing. What lives matter? I don't know. You tell me. Does my life matter? <sighs> I'm starting to wonder. And to um, the really good people. And even the things that I say now bother you? I know that. <laughs> Bothers me too. But I live with it because I see it. And I have to speak about it because... That's what my God of love, my God of truth and justice wants me to do. So for those good people out there on the front line doing those things and sacrificing themselves like no one could believe in doing those things that people said that couldn't be done. Thank you. And I love you and keep the faith. You're not alone. Walk in the light, stay intelligent, read, understand the system, start training your mind. The mind doesn't have a firewall. You have to build it. You have to understand what they built to get into you, to hack into you, to encode you, to say black lives don't matter because we got, oh, we got his last brain imprint and we got an algorithm so we can uh, simulate his thought so yeah we can kill him it's okay this is what Facebook is part of this is what um, the so called dead zone emitters that you call cell phone towers are part of welcome to the real world I'm the chaos thanks for your time peace
Yeah, yeah.